In this video, I'll explain a nice approach, an intellectually stimulating approach to reduce your calculation in the actual CAT 2018 question. The question is very easy in itself. The scores of Amal and Bimal in an examination are in the ratio 11 and 14. So we have one ratio. After an appeal, their score increases by the same amount. So the two values, they change. And their new scores are in the ratio 47 is to 56. It's a very standard scenario of two ratios being given. So the first ratio, we are going to use a variable and convert it to actual scores, 11K and 14K, okay? And the second ratio, we are going to use it as it is. That is in the ratio format itself, 47 by 56. So what is 47 by 56? The new scores. And what are the new scores? The old score plus the increase. So let's say the increase is X. So in the case of Bimal, also the increase will be the same X. So we have this equation. Simple equation, cross multiply, you'll get x in terms of k and once you get x in terms of k, I'm pretty sure the way ahead is going to be obvious, right? But the problem is when you solve this, you need to do a little bit of tedious calculation. While you might say multiplying by 11 is not a problem, but here when you right hand side, you would need to multiply 14k by 47, which is not a very, very nice technique, right? So I would feel, I would definitely, you know, find it very tedious to do this calculation. So what is the alternate way to avoid all this calculation? The alternate way is to avoid is when you have two ratios, you need to ask yourself, is something constant in the two? There are two values at the start, then there are two new values. Is there something which remains same? between them. And what you need to realize if its scores increase by the same amount, there were two values at the earlier, and then the two values increase by the same amount, this tells us that the difference between them, difference remains constant. Whatever was the difference earlier, even in the new values, the difference will be the same. And if you get such an insight, then it becomes a very easy question. The original values would have been 11K and 14K. Okay, the new values would have been with a different constant, 47N and 56N, right? The difference here is 3K. The difference here in the second case is 9K and what I, 9N and what I can be sure is the difference is same. So if the difference is same, I easily get k is equal to 3n. So at the moment I replace k with 3n, this becomes 33n and this becomes 42n. And now I have all the four scores in terms of the same variable n. So the question is asking Bimal, the second guy's new score to his original score. So the n and n cancel out and easily you will get an answer. 14 fours are 14 threes are. That's your answer. 4 is to 3. Easy, no calculations, nothing. Even now, getting this k and n is very childish work, students. If you are very adept at this, you should, once this is realized, you could easily say this 11 and 14. The difference between 11 and 14 is 3. Whereas in the second case, 47 and 56. The difference is 9. I need to make the difference same. You know, you could, you could divide this by 3 and make the difference 3. The difference becomes same. Even that will give us the same answer. However, dividing by 3 is going to not be so great. Yeah, especially these are not divisible by 3. So the easier thing is multiply this by 3. It doesn't matter what you do, the answer will be same, but multiplying is easy. I get 33 and 42. And if you are very fast, you know that all these four values now are with the same constant. Why? Because if this difference is 9K, this also has to be 9K. So the constant here has to be K, same. And so if you take the ratio of this, the K and K gets cancelled out and the ratio will be 3 is to 4. Easy, right?